Hey guys, welcome to Captain German Exploring YouTube channel. Today we will have a technical video. I will tell you about Cummins on and gen set error codes, how to find it, how to find a problem and how to solve a problem and how to check error codes in manual. In our boat we have uh, 6.5 kilowatts, 220 uh, gen set. Now let's go to port side, aft cabin. In the middle we have a gen set. You see? I opened it before and just not to waste the time on it. Uh, so let's get deeply inside. So let's briefly check the specification. So it is here. This gen set is a 220 volts and 50 hertz. So it is a 6 kilowatts with a 2400 RPM. Output frequency 60 hertz with a 110 volts. It is 7.5 kilowatts with a 2900 RPM. As you see, there is no enough space for a good maintenance, but anyway, access to gen set is more or less fine. Uh, it is a quite complicated to see exhaust system and, uh, and other systems, uh, but it's possible to get from opposite cabin, from starboard cabin, uh, to rear part of gen set. But mainly, what do we need? It's here. So, uh, this is 226.5 kilowatts and uh, it's quite a reliable system. Uh, first of all, this gen set is a quite complicated. There are a lot of sensors in it, so uh, honestly it's very difficult to kill it. But let's check what can we see in our genset. The most difficult part uh, of this genset is to make a regular maintenance. For example, to replace impeller uh, you need to remove the belt. Uh, it's not really easy. You need to unscrew water pump and uh, make some gap and release the belt. What I found in the gen set, the frame, uh, so the engine itself, made not from a really strong material and uh, you see the stainless steel plate, it's instead of part which was broken. There are plenty of sensors in a gen set. You see the white cables? So, this one. It is a presence of water in a cooling system. So, uh, in this gen set, uh, they called it raw water flow. Another one sensor, which is uh, really important, is here. You see somewhere inside this rusty. The location of this is not really good, because on top that is a water pump. In case of leakage, everything is getting to oil pressure sensor and to all electronics. So you can see not really, not really clear. But anyway, uh, now it is a no leakage, but it's quite difficult to clean everything from the uh, old mistakes of this machine. To start gen set, there are stop and start buttons and uh, we have remote control in the starboard cabin. Uh, remote control works equally. So you can start from here and stop from another remote control or vice versa. Uh, but now let's start gen set. We need to press start button and wait until it fully started. So there is a status lamp, now we have water pump, and now start. Remove it, and you see the status line is green, so it means our jet set working well. So now 
you see uh, indication in a gen set so just you need to calculate one two three So you see now it shoots it down. Let's calculate blinks again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Seven it means no raw water flow. So it means water not cooling heat exchanger and not cooling down genset. So it's a critical error and genset shut it down. Now we start the gen set again. We open C cock. So now we have a water in a cooling system and gen set started to work back again. That's it. Easy. Now we know uh, how to check blinks on a gen set. After you pressing stop button, uh, you will go to special to blinks uh, indication it will be from one to nine after pause and from one to nine so it means first one first digit second one second digit now let's take manual oops installation manual wrong one we need operator manual and open it on a page 7.5 uh, troubleshooting with a status lamp and we have uh, all indication and description on this manual uh, by the way all these uh, error codes you can find in a video description so you don't need to try to find the manual you can just open description of this video and find all blinks everything you need if for example you have four pose and five it means 45 let's go code number 45 problem with the sensor which measure rotation of engine so we are going to finish our technical movie today ah. we are going to finish our technical movie about on and gen set and error codes how to check error codes how to find a problem as you see it's very difficult to kill this cool machine if you want to make a service of on and gen set it is quite complicated because it is a good machine quite reliable but all the parts of it so close and it's very difficult to unscrew oil filter fuel filter it's very difficult to have access to water pump so because it is everything very close to each other don't forget to subscribe uh, write the comments press likes and everything because we want to grow our youtube channel and uh, in the future we will explain you many other technical 
seen in sailing. Bye bye, see you next week.